Woohoo! It's here! Alright guys, it's October 9th, 10.38 p.m. The trailer just hit the internet. I'm so excited to watch uh, The Last Jedi. Uh, official second trailer. Um, you know, people who've seen it already told me that it's amazing. But without any further delay, let's pop this, um, let's pop this sucker open right over here. And let's take a look at this amazing, amazing trailer. Here we go guys. Together. The Last Jedi. Okay, that's Snoke. That's the island where Luke is at. Had to have been Snoke's voiceover. Nice Luke's robotic hand. When I was awake, and I need help. I've seen this roster only once before. It didn't scare me enough then. Oh my god! Holy shit! What? Oh my god. I'm uh, I'm speechless. I what? I mean, the trailer is a little too spoiler-ish. I mean, uh, Ryan Johnson wasn't kidding uh, when he tweeted out that maybe we shouldn't see this trailer and just uh, go in without watching because it's spoiler heavy. Wow. Um. Wow. I actually got tears. I don't know if you guys can see it on the camera. That brought me to tears. Uh, it, I mean, it looks like Kylo Ren is either gonna kill. I'm literally like, I got, I got a tear. I literally uh, have not been this blown away by a trailer ever, ever. And uh, this is uh, th th wow! This movie's gonna be amazing. <laughs> Luke looks scared out of his mind, and I love the look um, in this uh, for for Luke Skywalker. I love the way he he really is afraid of you know what Ray represents, and uh, he's seen this. He says well, only once before, and then he sees the. I, I take it that's the new Jedi uh, Academy he was building. He sees it burned down. Remember, it's been. 30 years since Return of the Jedi, so whatever the details are, well, you know, I'm sure be told as the sequels happen. Uh, now, it, I don't know if Luke survives this. I hope he does. 
especially you know since uh, we lost Carrie Fisher I and mean, Princess Leia is not been the next one. I really hope that Luke survives this and he's in the uh, episode nine. Um, wow, this trailer was so good. Uh, everything looked really great. I, I love the um, the walkers in the beginning. First of all, the CGI looks flawless as always. The animals, the little porgs, the little the crystal dogs, all that stuff looks just incredible. Uh, Ryan Johnson, I think, uh, just uh, might have created probably uh, the best looking Star Wars uh, sequel I've ever seen. Uh, because, I mean, this just, it, that trailer looked amazing. It really did. The first trailer was good. Uh, I love the fact that it didn't really, uh, tell you much. And I love, you know, that, um, mystery that it left you with. Um, this one really tells you a lot, and it tells you everything pretty much, uh, immediately. And, uh, well, not everything. I'm sure there's going to be a lot of secrets. Uh, I mean, we don't know many, you know, a lot of the reveals, I'm sure. Maybe we're reading some of the reveals wrong. Maybe somebody that's planted in there and we're going to get a completely different twist. So much more excited now to watch this movie in December than ever before. And I was already extremely excited to watch it. I mean, this is the number one movie uh, of the year for me that I want to watch. You know, obviously, I'm a Star Wars fanatic, as you guys can tell in the background here. And, um, you know, there's no other uh, movie that really means as much as, as this film uh, for me. So, um, look, uh, wow, I'm going to watch this again. I have to. In fact, let's watch it together. What I found here, I saw raw. There's the AT, -AT Walkers, the. Uh, Voice over by Snoke. And beyond that. Kylo Ren. Something truly special. Something. The island where Luke was at the end of uh, Force Awakens. You see the hand over the lightsaber, which is cool. Awake. That's probably like the very beginning of the movie, though. Voice over by Ray. I've seen this roster only once before. It didn't scare me enough then. It does now. Everyone looks pissed. If you have to. There's Leia. That's the only way to become what you're meant to be. Oh. Wow. A little pork. <laughs> Finn and Captain Phasma going at it. This is not going to go the way you think. Fulfill. Wow, the battle's looking intense. Snoke looks awesome in this thing. I need someone to show me my place in all this. Wow, no way. What? Did we just get like the biggest spoiler ever at the end there? I need someone to show me the way in all of this. I mean, at that point, either Luke's already dead or he's just not around for whatever reason. And she has decided to join the dark side. Or... Or Kylo Ren has redeemed himself, and uh, you know he's offering her to train her and to fight Snoke. And Luke is out fighting Snoke right now. Lucas Films, no wonder you know there was absolutely. I mean, just from looking at this trailer and seeing the production, you know, value of what I just witnessed, and uh, the, even the dialogue in the trailer—it's so good. Oh my God! Even the dialogue in a Star Wars movie, good dialogue. Are you kidding me? This is amazing. Uh, even the dialogue is epic in this trailer. And, uh, you know, every other film they've had, 
uh, recently, like, you know, even Rogue One suffered through it. The Han Solo spinoff, uh, you know, episode 10 or episode 9. Uh, they're all having uh, directorial problems and uh, issues with uh, the production. And this one was like a flawless production. I can see now why uh, it was, because one, it looks beautiful. I mean, the, the world that Ryan Johnson continued here from what J.J. Abrams put together uh, as the you know the follow-up to the uh, Return of the Jedi, uh, it just it looks phenomenal. Everything looks perfect. Uh, it looks like it fits the continuity with everything else. Um, the dialogue is fantastic. The action sequences look amazing. Uh, I mean, there's literally no flaw in this trailer from what I saw, other than it was a little too spoiler-heavy. Um, unless some of those spoilers are meant to kind of like throw you off from the actual spoilers that we're going to see in the movie, then then that would be cool. And I kind of hope that's the case. Uh, but I'm going to rewatch this about a thousand times because uh, this is a... Uh, guys, uh, leave me your thoughts. Uh, your comments, uh, leave it in the comment section below. Uh, by all means, I want to hear from you and see what you thought of this incredible uh, trailer. Please subscribe to my channel and uh, give me a like, thumbs up, and uh, let's talk about it. This is just a great time to be a Star Wars fan. Uh, Till next time, everybody, this is the Jackal from Inside the Jackal's Head saying may the Force be with you.